Hey everyone, Wilder D here. We're back for more Alex Kidd and Miracle World Deluxe. And we are still in Jenkins Haunted Hotel. No, actually, I don't know if it is haunted, but it's certainly fucked up. Nevertheless, we're back through this section again. Fun. So let me just skip through this. Skip well beyond this point, unless something happens. Fuck! Okay, spoke too soon. Should have saw that come. Wow, I'm losing all my lives all of a sudden. Okay, let's actually stay calm. We lost two lives over nothing. Well, we learned from our mistakes. Always go to the left. There's no reason to go to the right unless you want to speed run. <sighs> damn it. Well, at least we get an extra life. Wait, is that extra life gonna keep respawning? Curious. Damn. Okay, at least we know that actually respawns, so we're not so bad. Interesting. Wonder if that's actually the case in the original. Okay, so we are back to where we originally were meant to go, but couldn't because stop. Come here. I am kind of curious what this thing does. Nevertheless, punch you in the face. Why did I do that? Why in the world did I do that? I did it perfectly the first time by just jumping, punching the fish in midair, and landing here, and then immediately just ruin myself. That ladder's a trap, by the way, and considering that we can fall through ladders, you have to jump over it, because you see that freaking frog is precariously placed right there? That's the sc We're gonna be fighting this boss with one freaking life. Are you kidding me? Well, zero freaking lives. Excellent. Damn it, game. All right, hold on just a moment as we get to that point where we killed ourselves at least twice on a freaking scorpion. <clears throat> Why did my jump not register? Leave, come back. Jump! Where is my jump? Damn, that room sucks. That is now my new least favorite room. Bull crap is all I can say about it. Oh god. Oh god. Oh jeez. What the hell, game? Jumping. Thank you. I'm starting to see the problems with Alex Kidd and Love. Where does this lead me? Oh, Money Pit. Is that all there is up here? What is the point of this? I guess that's a like a freaking tamper tantrum room. Is that it? I also, I also don't know what is the point of those money bags being over there. Like, I even in the original, I don't know how you get there and why they're there to begin with. If, any, if anyone has any idea, please let me know, because I am certainly clueless on that mystery. Gosh, I hate, I hate that jump. Alright, that's how you get past that. Good. Basically smack... No, we need to get this extra life. Especially after all the death that we've suffered. Yeesh, this room still sucks, but now that I figured it out, it's not that bad. It's the other room that sucks. You know, the one with the all that acid just coming from the ceiling, and you have like two seconds to react. Come on, come on. Need this extra life for my sanity. Kill you. Not go down that ladder. I hate that glitch or whatever it is. It feels like a glitch. Alright, boss. 
Wow, you actually look menacing. Oh, I don't like your ceiling at all. Oh, new music. Good. And good. I'm just digging this music. It's it's a lot better of an intro. Uh, he actually was kind of the easiest, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. Uh... Alex Kidd, I can't hear you over the oppressing periods at the end of your sentences. What the hell? You should be screaming that out of your tops of your lungs, man. This guy's just basically laughing belly style at you. <laughs> you will pay for your misdeeds. Alright, so apparently Alex Kidd is just not into it right now, so let's see if we... I'm gonna go with a nice good old scissors. And he beat my ass. Crap. Please tell me you're not gonna do that thing. Ah, oh, crap. This is where- this was so much easier when you had the crystal ball of hope. <laughs> Am I screwed? No. Yeah, suck it. Alright, let's see if it's is the case where he tries to basically beat you in the la at the last second. Yep, see ya. Maybe no, actually not the case there. I just got... Oh, what is this? Oh no. Oh boy. Oh, so this is all you're doing again? You're basically doing what... Oh, my. oh okay, here's... There's... Oh, actually coming towards me. Interesting. Okay, this fight got a lot better, not gonna lie, but I also lost my ring. That sucks, because that would have made- that makes this fight so much easier. And immediately di Did he just not turn me into stone? <laughs> Actually kind of bummed about that. Like, the game doesn't even reference Alex Kidd ever turning into stone. The hell. Alright, well... Whatever. I guess we're gonna just have to work with that. <laughs> so that's why he does that. Okay, I don't like the fact that he's going to charge me now. Yep, here he comes. And dead. Wow. That was a lot easier than I was expecting. Like... I swear, the guy- the second dude that we fought- Hey, princess, is that- uh, Um, wrong guy? But, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Yay! I'm s Wow, Alex Kid, you're so monotone and don't give a crap about bonding. Find your mother? Oh. Where is your mom? Okay. Give me that hamburger. So we're on the final level, guys. Crag Lake. And it looks exactly how I left it. Whoa, okay, that was jarring as hell. That's not how it should... That's not how it should transition, game. Oh, no, 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 I forgot about your ass. Okay, good, you didn't do what I was ho hoping you wouldn't do. All right, remember this. This is important. If you forgot the letter back in the first castle, you would not get this. And if you didn't have this, Restart the game unless you decide to look online, which honestly anyone would and not want to redo anything because this is the this is basically the password and You have to read it in a certain way 
which it better be the same way where we're gonna have questions. Open that door. Excellent. Moon, wave, wave, fish, moon, moon, fish, moon, wave. That is the password of this particular puzzle, and honestly, I do like that it took me, like, years to realize that the crown was on the freaking left to tell you this is what you need to do from right to left to figure out the password. My brain was thinking left to right. And I feel like this big ass idiot not realizing that until now. I'm like, oh, damn it. But yeah, that's the password, and I'm glad that they kept it the same, because I would have been pretty pissed if he had to do something entirely different. I mean, come on. And that is the end of... What? Homecoming. Oh god, there's a shooter? No! No! You didn't just do that game, did you? You... Alright. All right, okay, let's see what we have to do here. If we fight a Jaken again, oh God, these blocks are gonna symbolize doing a it. Why are we collecting money still? Like, we're going home, it's... Okay, I don't know what's with that particular monster. Oh, come on. Da, 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 da. All right, at least we know where to start. Watch us throw it back to... Okay, I don't understand why the game just decided to not give me that money for free there. You saw that money right at the beginning where it's just like, hey, wish you could have picked me up. Nope, didn't know about you. This is kind of a nice way to end the game, I would imagine. But I do have a bad feeling about this section. I do feel like Jaken's gonna come in his freaking biplane of death or blimp. It better be a blimp. Oh god, now they're throwing the red stuff at me. And a bunch of these guys. Oh no. You're not doing this to me. Oh god. They are really getting... Really kind of trying to kill me right now. Okay, no, I'm not that greedy. What is the point of this money game? Like... Is this going to be, like, a, a case of Wario Land or something? Oh, no. Not this. Now we got walls to deal with. This is entirely new to me, obviously. Fuck. Where did I start? Oh, good, good place to start, game. Like, here, have a wall. That's not how you... That's not how you greet the player game. Come on. All right. Okay, that means I'm gonna have to deal with, wait, is it over? That's it? That's it. I was expecting a final boss game. I guess considering that the original ended on a puzzle, it makes sense for it to end on a plane ride now. But yeah, this is Alex Kidd in Miracle World Deluxe, and I like it, but uh, it does make me wonder. It does make me wonder just a bit. Because I do see a very... Uh-oh. What, what's going on again? There's there still more? Oh, it's just a sequel. Oh, crap. They're suggesting a sequel. They're going to try to remake all the other ones now? Is that it? Or are they trying to start something new? <laughs> okay. So, yeah. That is Alex Kidd in Miracle World Deluxe. And... I do see the flaws. I do see that there are some things that would make this game a lot better if they were modified, for example. The sound effects in the classic mode, or at least the retro style, 
not to my liking. It, it, it's missing some things and adding too much in others, and it just seems so imbalanced. And then I was really liking the game at the first half, and then after the ca first castle, which was pretty damn good, um, it started to do some really weird janky crap, like the whole checkpoints into enemies thing. Not sure I was liking that. And what do we got here? Oh, just the tile screen. And of course, once you beat the game, you can unlock classic mode and boss rush. You know what we might be doing in the future? We're gonna be going through the game in classic mode with classic set. Well, let's actually see what it does first real quick. Yes. Oh, it's actually the classic game. Oh, cool. So I can sell my copy now. You know, my old copy. So that's pretty sweet. And you get to eat a hamburger still. Oh my god, this is actually kind of cool. This was well worth it. I'd say this was very much worth it. Now, how the hell do I get out of here? Oh, there's a there's the thing. Nice, nice. They even implement... Hmm. You know what? If this... If I didn't see this, I would have given this game like a 6.5 right about now, but... Even then, I, I don't think that's... I think that's kind of low. Um, I will say this game's kind of like a 7 in my books. It's It's got the heart. It's got a good... It's got the great presentation if you just stick to modern. That's the best part of this game. Like, the presentation is pristinely good, but the polish is where it starts to take a tumble, and the gameplay, again, takes a bit of a tumble. But it has its charm, and more importantly, I might replay it, because I honestly want to check out some of these mo other- or want to try to check out and see what it's like all through retro mode. And, of course, play the plastic mode. I mean, it's Alex Kidd. But the fact that he eats a freaking hamburger in Alex Kidd, like the original. Like, let me just check real quick. Is it like that? Does he eat a Spanish omelet? Let's, let's see. Uh, that looks like a hamburger. Damn. Well, close enough. Alright guys, I think this will be a good place to stop. Uh, next time, I think we'll try a different game, as always, but... Hope you enjoyed this little, uh, showcase of Alex Kidd and Miracle World. I know I didn't have, like, super duper exclamation mode times 20, but honestly, I kind of like doing that. I kind of want to try to see if I can find a nice mix between... ...what I've been doing here and what I've been doing before, so... Thanks for watching, have a great day, and adios.